and welcome to our lesson on calculating a percentage change. To calculate a percentage change, we need to understand the value of the original amount. The original amount before a percentage change is 100%. So an amount always starts off as 100%. And now we're going to change it. We're going to increase this by 10%. So we have our original amount, which is 100%, and we're going to increase it by 10%, which means we're going to add 10% on. So you can see 100% add 10% is 110%. Now we understand that 110% means 110 out of 100, and this is a operation of 110 divided by 100. So an increase of 10% leads to a multiplier of 1.1, which is 110 divided by 100. So this is called a multiplier, which is important for today's lesson. And this is an increase. Notice it is greater than one when we have an increase. If we have a decrease, let's say we're going to decrease an amount by 10%. Well, we start off with the original 100% and we're taking now 10% off because we are reducing it by 10%. And that will leave us with 90%. That is 90 out of 100, which is 0 0.9. So in this case, our multiplier after a reduction or a decrease is less than one, this is not 0.9. And we can use this to solve these problems of A, B and C. We're going to increase 160 by 20%. And because it's an increase, we're going to add the 20% onto 100%. So the original amount is 100%. And we are adding on 20 because it is an increase. And that will give us 120% of the original of 160. And we know 120% of the multiplier is 1.2. And of means times 1.2 times 60 is 72. For question B, we're going to decrease 180 by 12%. And because it's a decrease, we have our original 100% and we are taking away, which is a reduction of 12%. And that will leave us with 88%. And 88% 88 is 88 divided by 100, which is 0 0.88. And this is our multiplier. So the calculation is the 12% decrease which has 0.88 on a multiplier, multiplied by the original 180 pound, and that is 158.4. Question C, the price of a coat is 82 pound, and this is the original price, which is worth 100%. In a sale, it is reduced by 15%. What is the sale price of the coat? So it started off at 100%. We reduce that by 15%, which means we are left with 85% of the original amount. Now 85% can be written as a decimal by dividing it by 100, which leads to 0 0.85. And this is our multiplier. So you want 0 0.85 multiplied by the 82 pounds. So the sale price of a coat is £69.70. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out a 6% increase of £24.50 and a 42% decrease of 216 You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D. We have the original amount, which is 100%, and we are adding on to this because it's an increase of 
this gives us 106 percent which is 106 divided by 100 as a multiplier this is 1.06 so our calculation is the 6 percent increase which is 1.06 multiplied by the 24 pound 50. so after a 6 percent increase it is 25 pound 97. For question a we are going to decrease by 42 percent so we start off with our original 100 percent and we are decreasing which means we are subtracting 42 percent from the original so we're left with 56% of the original amount. And 56% is 56 divided by 100 as a decimal, which is 0.56. So our calculation is our multiplier, which is 0.56, and that represents a 42% decrease of the original 216. And this works out as 120.96 okay do you want to try and work out question f by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready so ellie's phone bill is 32 pound each month work out the new price after a 7.5 percent increase so the original amount is 100 percent and it's an increase so we are adding on 7.5%. So we have a total of 107.5%, which at the decimal is 107.5 divided by 100, which is 1.075. And this is our multiplier. So the new price would be 1.075 multiplied by. 32 pounds so the new price of the phone is 34 pound 40 per month thank you for watching i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care